In a narration found in Sunan ibn Imajah, number 2142, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised that a Muslim should be moderate when seeking worldly things as what is destined for them will surely reach them. It is important to understand that Islam does not encourage Muslims to completely abandon the material world, as it is a bridge which connects one to the hereafter. How can one possibly reach the hereafter without crossing this bridge? Islam instead teaches Muslims to take from this world in order to fulfill their necessities and the necessities of their dependents while avoiding excess, waste and extravagance and then dedicate their efforts in preparing for the hereafter by fulfilling the commands of Allah, the exalted, refraining from his prohibitions and by facing destiny with patience according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. It is important to remember that the things one will obtain in this world, such as their provision, have already been apportioned to them over 50,000 years before Allah, the Exalted, created the heavens and the earth. This is confirmed in a narration found in Sahih Muslim, number 6748. As a person's provision is guaranteed and cannot increase or decrease, irrespective of their efforts, they should strive for it according to their necessities and responsibilities, as striving for more will only lead to stress and they may not obtain what they desire. In addition, this excess striving will distract them from practically preparing for the hereafter, this in turn will only lead to further stress for them in both worlds. Whereas, obeying the main narration and striving moderately for one's provision, will ensure they receive their apportioned share with minimal stress they fulfill their responsibilities and prepare adequately for the hereafter. This leads to peace and success in both worlds.